So here we are at the sixth Matherwick Festival here in sunny Suffolk. The weather is superb. We're doing three of the venues here for a weekend of Americana. It's going to be absolutely great. I hope you're going to come down. Okay, so we're here at the Maverick Festival in Suffolk, which is an Americana festival. Incredibly diverse range of artists, loads of acoustic instruments, electric instruments, drums. Last year we had someone playing the spoons. It's great to be here. So we're here in the Peacock Barn, which this year is being used for a lot more venue, well, a lot more bands than it was last year. So we've put in a fairly simple compact system, but one that's going to have the clout and the clarity to deal with all the instruments that we've got in here. Plus there's a lot of vocal harmonies in this kind of music, so you need something that works well. So we're running T&E 2128, testing a couple of rather active cabs, 500 watt RMS, Class D power amp in the back, two 12 inch drivers, 1.4 inch compression drivers, so it's got real good clarity throughout the mid-range for all the different instruments, all the vocals. So we're just using two of those to fill this hall. And to fill in the bottom end, this is a single TNS 215A subway. This has got two 15-inch drivers in clamshell, which gives a really nice natural bass end. We don't want a kind of a club sound that's going, you know, kicking and doof, doof, doof kind of thing. This needs good clear natural sound. So if the guy's got an upright bass, he plays down to the, the neck, the notes go down nicely, naturally, not one sticking out, not a you know, band pass or grunt, just a nice natural sound. So it's filling in the bottom end, giving all the warmth and resonance to the acoustic instruments, all the depth, but without being obtrusive, it just a natural part of the sound that fills in all the detail. So it's giving us a nice clear sound. On the stage this year, we're using Tesson MP, multi-purpose series, active cabs, which we're using as monitors. These cabs, again, these active cabs are 500 watt Class D, that's an RMS 500 watt, so by most people's standards would be that's a 1000 watt system. Compact cab, fully flyable, if you want to do that with it, you can put it on a pole mount, or you can use it as a monitor wedge. So we're using two at the front here as main monitors. And then we're also using, for the drums, and also as an up monitor here, we're using the 8 inch version, which has a 200 watt RMS Class B amplifier. Very, very compact little system, but nice and easy to use, lots of clarity, lots of punch. Surprising amount of level achievable from one of these. So even when you have a full band of drum kit, you're going to get plenty enough to hear what's going on. So, I mean, We've got some things to fight against here. We've got Tama Drum Kit from our friends in Tama UK. Laney Bass Amp from our friends over at Laney. So we've got some real quality gear in here. And also Laney Guitar Amp over the back. So because we have such a diverse range of instruments in here, we've brought one of the Queensbury Combos along. This is a great little combo that can run just about anything you want to put into it. Acoustic instruments go in. Last year we had a guy playing an electric upright bass through it, keyboards, electronic drums, whatever you want to put through that system, it'll handle it. So it can work as a combo, it can work as a monitor, it can work as a submixer. So again, it just gives us great versatility for all the different kinds of bands we're going to be having in here tonight. cozy environment, mainly acoustic, solo artists, duos, though for a small stage there's quite a lot going on a lot of the time. I mean already today we've had an electric player, we've had acoustic, we've had kind of bluesy, we've had bluegrass, 
we've had funky country, all kinds of stuff going on. So the organisers asked us for a very simple to use system here, it's something that was going to be compact because it's a small room, that would be very easy for the artist to use. So we've come up with a very, very simple setup. We've got HH System 3 providing the main PA. So it's the subwoofer with F for the sub and for the tops. 8 inch satellite cabs. These have flying hardware on as well, so they can be suspended if you want to. But 8 inch woofer, 1 inch compression driver. Doing mixing duties, we have a Queensbury head, Queensbury 525. So 5 input mixer head, 250 watt power amplifier, as well as providing the mix, which it's sending into here. It's also driving directly to cabs for the outside area, because this being a small room, we end up with a lot of people standing outside, and this weekend, enjoying the sunshine. We're then using the record out on Queensbury head to drive a monitor. So we've got a separate monitor feed effectively from the head, We've got a Vector 10 inch active monitor, 120 watt monitor, 10 inch woofer. It's got built in graphic EQ, so the artists on this small stage, as they're using it, they can adjust it, get whatever they want from it. It's not taking up their stage space, so it's just a very simple, easy to use system. Basically, you plug in, it sounds great, off you go. Also, once again, our friends from Lane have been here with the VC30 combo, which one of the artists specifically requested, which was sounding great earlier on. And that'll be used throughout the weekend. It's going to move between venues. It'll be in the barn, it'll be in the peacock, it'll be on the main stage. Just nice versatile app that all the different artists can use. So it just works great through our PA systems. Okay, here at the Maverick Festival, this is the Tank Room. Today has been the Americana Music Association UK's conference, and the conference has been in here with lots of speakers, and they've been using the HH Vector system as the conference PA, which has worked fine. It's kind of a big PA for that, but there's going to be lots of bands in here later on. And across the weekend, again, all kinds of different artists. There's also a lot of workshops in here from lap steel players, mandolin, all kinds of different instruments, ukulele even, everything going on in here. The bands in here can be very, very diverse. You've got guys like the Ragged String Band who are really up-tempo. You've got people like the Henry Brothers who are just two guys playing acoustic and doing murder ballads, which is really cool, and they do it in a real funny style. So, again, this is a very simple system. We're using a pair of Vector 215 cabs, double 15s with 1.4 inch compressions. That's going to be the main PA. At the moment we're still set up for the conference, but we'll be clearing all the conference gear away later. And we'll be using some Vector monitors in here as well, using uh, the SR1500 power amplifier. What's wrong with these? And there'll also be Queensbury combo in here to cope with the diverse range of artists that play. Looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in here last year. This year, sorry. Last year, there was all kinds of stuff. We didn't know what was happening. Ragged String Band played when they weren't even on the bill. They just turned up, borrowed instruments, came in here and played a set. And the place was supposed to be closed and it was packed with people dancing. It's that kind of festival. People just come down, get some instruments and play. They're going to be playing around the campsite tonight. So, just a load of good music happening here. And it's great to have the HH systems in here because they're just showcasing all of these great bands and it's making it a really good festival for everybody.
Okay, so we had a great three days here at the Maverick Festival. The sun shone, the bands played. We've had three venues of HH gear with over 30 bands playing, more than 100 musicians. Thousands of happy customers have come through. It's been a superb weekend with great music. We hope to see you here next year. We'll be back. Cheers.